What's going on, everybody? Pause here. Welcome back to another episode of the... I keep wanting to say other things to American Truck Simulator. Today we are delivering clothes from Los Angeles, California to Prim, Nevada. So our first time going across borders. And I'm a little bit excited. Means it's going to be a little bit of a drive right now. It is currently five hours. Actually, pretty much six hours right now. It's five hours, 59 minutes. So this is going to be our longest route that we are taking yet. And I hope you guys are as excited as I am today. Means, uh, oh god. This means, uh, we're going to try and not fuck up. Because we don't have much right now. And if I'm going to continuously get speeding tickets, I may as well just throw the money out the window right now. Because that's all it takes is a little bit of speed. Not the drug. Not the movie. Literal speed. Okay. Aw, oh, dude. I can't wait till I can deliver something like that. That looks sweet. Okay, so I'm actually, like, really curious if we're gonna see, like, any, uh... Because I know, like, when you cross provinces in Canada, it usually says, like, now leaving Manitoba, now entering the worst place ever in Canada, Saskatchewan. Oh, God. Again, we gotta slow down. We gotta keep an eye out. We gotta keep an eye out, because right now, we almost just lost some money there. That would've sucked. And so far, like, my, my driving from here on out has been excellent, but it can be better. It can always improve, and right now, when we're constantly having to speed and lose money, that's just money down the drain, and I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Uh, right now, our gas is... Uh, it's actually kind of low. We might have to stop off and uh, get some gas there. Because right now, we're at about a quarter tank, and we got a... Uh, Five and a half hour drive ahead of us. That's, ugh. that's gonna take forever, man. That's gonna take forever. Okay. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll see maybe the scenic route. From what I've saw, though, from what I've seen on the, from what I saw, from what I've seen on the, oh, again, we're doing forty. It, it just feels, it's, it's so weird because like most car games that I play, you know, you're not constricted to speed. This one though, like even. Even in like Grand Theft Auto where there's like car like cops and everything that will actually like shoot you <laughs> and that. Like here it just I don't know, I just I can't I can't get into the, the mindset that my money is based on my actions here. Which again makes complete and utter sense. You know what? I'm not gonna fill up here. You know, maybe I'll fill up here. I I'm, I'm not gonna be it doesn't come out of my pocket. Actually the Whenever we, we have to pay for gas and all that, that actually comes out of the employer's pocket. That's uh, that's nothing we have to worry about ourselves. I could have sworn... This... You know what? I think we're... This feels exactly the same, man. Chinese takeout. Oh, wait. We can go. We can go. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if this gas station... We might want it to go on one... Go to a gas station that... Uh... Yeah, you know what? This is honestly... I mean, we could, but I really don't like how confined that is right now. Especially, like, with uh, how you guys saw me drive the other night. Oh, my God. Is it actually ETA, 1248 AM? Oh, my God. It's actually starting to become evening. We're going to have our first night drive together, guys. I want to, like, listen to some Kavinsky night call. Freaking sweet song, by the way, guys. Sweet song. Wish I could play it, but unfortunately I can't. Which brings me to another good uh, point. Uh, there are, there are like radio stations in this this game that you can listen to, but obviously, with uh, YouTube and all of that, and I kind of avoid uh, any you know getting fine broed, you know. So, is that too uh, too late to be topical? I think it might be too late, considering that they already retracted their uh, their. Oh God. Their uh, copyrights, or their their trademarks rather, not their copyrights. I hope I'm not going to get ticketed. I was already in the intersection. Okay. Oh, I was going to get really upset if I got freaking ticketed there. Yeah, we've done this path. We've gone the exact same path. That's what makes it feel so familiar. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Did I do it? No! God freaking damn it. I knew it. I was cutting it way too short. Shit. Oh, uh, looks like it's just ramen for me for another week here. Shh. Uh, that's terrible. That is so terrible. My God. I knew it. I knew it too. 
You know what really sucks though is there's no red light cameras. I don't know where these are coming from. I'm looking. I'm looking for the red light cameras. That's what I typically I don't run red lights in real life, but you know, just joking that this is real life, but I really don't run red lights. I was I was just hoping it's it's that progress like it's that that initial speed, you know. It, it just sucks. Like to to get up to, to where you're typically comfortable with in terms don't you fucking dare. Relax, buddy. I thought he was honestly going to gut it there. I just can't wait till we get on the highway. Oh, God, yeah, we're going to have to, like, I, I think the next gas station we see, we're, we're going to have to stop off. Because this is not good. This is no bueno. Okay, we're losing speed, so may as well put the pedal to the metal. Kazar. Sick song, by the way. I'm just joking. It's really not that good. <laughs> uh, he was a one-hit wonder. I don't know how many of you guys ever, like heard him but you know check him out Kazar put the pedal to the metal and he's off and then he I don't know what he does I don't even know where that song came from it, it all I know is it was big for me and my brother maybe it wasn't even big like overall it was just big for me and my brother which sounds really weird okay you know what we're gonna have to turn on our headlights here sorry to get into that that twilight zone you know where it's hard to see between dusk and dawn I don't know how many of you guys like drive or like are just passengers that always find it hard to, to kind of see at dusk and dawn, but I'm one of those people who I hate driving at dusk. I honestly I prefer night over over day, but I really I can't stand it at dusk. Like once it's 6:30 and like the sun is setting and everything. Apparently it's cuz like the the lighting is so awkward that it's like in between light and dark so your eyes have like a very hard time to uh, to adjust. Okay, we could be doing a little bit faster here. Okay. I think we can make this turn. I wonder if we can. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. No, we're good. Oh, I thought we were gonna freaking flip there. I, that's happened before. It's scary, man. It's scary getting into accidents in first person. You know what I can't wait for? I can't wait for the time when we can record a virtual reality and bring you on our adventures and you guys just put on your, your virtual reality uh, heads, headsets as well. Then that'll be immersive. Although it'd be weird because, like, even though you put it on and it's like technically, oh, here's this hill that just destroys us. But even though it's like technically like virtual reality, it's not going to be too virtual reality, unless they make it like they they somehow get it to the point where I can record whatever I'm looking and you can look anywhere as well. But then that kind of takes away from me recording my perspective, right? Fuck you, virtual reality! You're taking over my job. Don't do it. Actually, I don't know. The whole virtual reality thing kind of kind of weird to me. Like, I'm kind of excited, but at the same time, I honestly... I don't know. I guess it's because, like, I haven't actually had, like, the time to sit down and, and go through... No, that's just a rest station. That's not a gas station. Okay. Seriously, all these freaking dispensaries. You think we're in freaking Washington or something like that, man? Like, I understand that California is kind of like, you know, the, a good place for, for like medical and all that. That's actually, they've been, they've had their medical, uh, marijuana prescriptions for like years. I think people like bought for it like back in the nineties and people were like literal medical, uh, patients back then, cannabis patients, but it just feels, feels weird that there's so many so many uh dispensaries around okay again i don't want to go too fast we got to slow down just a bit here is where i think cruise control would be good the trucks have cruise control i actually have no idea if they do i think if honestly cruise control is good but at the same time i feel like you get too comfortable with it actually like even when uh i made a road trip like two years back out to, to winnipeg to go see my parents and uh, most of the time, whenever I drove, Andrew did a lot of the driving. I hate driving. I love being the passenger. I love just, like, sitting back, relaxing, and just listening to some music and all that. Okay, so here is some a gas station. So, <laughs> it's not Chevron. It's Chevron. I love it. God damn it.
Unfortunately, on the Steam controller, there's no way to turn off our engine, which uh, makes it super awkward. Now we actually get to see how much this is going to cost us in American dollars. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Again, I don't have to worry about it. it comes out of our our uh, employer's wallet, I believe. Your fuel exp Yeah, see? My fuel expenses are covered by my lawyer. I just got to... God. Okay, no. We're good here. I just got an achievement called Gas Guzzler. Oh my god, is it ever getting dark? Okay, I didn't see anyone behind us in my rearview mirrors. I'm gonna sit there and fucking... Just sting everyone with their fucking money. Get out of here, cop. Get a real job. I'm just joking. Hey, Barstow, I remember you. Oh my god, we still got two hours and 30 minutes to go. Like I said, I'm, I'm curious as to like how long these uh, these trips are eventually going to get. I feel like at some points in time, we're probably like for like five, like maybe 10 hour ones or something like that. We're going to have to like cut out some of the boring parts. Not that any of this is boring and I actually thoroughly enjoy this game. But uh, I have a feeling like with the ones that'll be like... Because there's ones I've done in Euro Truck Simulator that have been like literal, like, you know, almost an hour trip. Because there you had to, well, as, you know, you're traveling all over Europe. You had to cross ferries and go to islands and take like, sometimes you'd have to take like two ferries and everything. I'm kind of like curious as to uh, what we're going to be experiencing here. I'm actually like really excited though. Really excited. I can't wait to see all the the landscapes that that are, you know, are, are famous in some areas, like San Francisco, you got, like, the Golden Gate Bridge. Here's to see if uh, we'll, we'll be able to see that. I wonder if we're going to see, like, the Seattle, like, the little, uh, the sp space pin? The the needle? Seattle needle? I, I, it's not a space pin. I know, all I know are people from Seattle, like, call themselves Seattleites, which I think is probably, like, the most douchiest nickname you could give yourself. Not, like, here's the thing. When I lived in Ottawa, I learned that people there, like, you know, Winnipeg or Winnipeg was like Winnipegers. Winnipegers sounds good. I, like I like that. O when I was in Ottawa, it was Ottawa Tonians. Ottawa Tonian. It's like, could you imagine someone like making fun of you? <laughs> You're an Ottawa Tony. Like, I don't think anyone would ever say that word. I don't, and I don't think I've heard anyone ever, you know, just casually threw that into a conversation. Oh, so I was talking to an Ottawa Tonian the other day. Like, no, it's just like a person from Ottawa. You say that. It's, but I honestly think that Seattleite just sounds way worse. I don't know what it is about Seattleites. It just sounds dumb, dude. It just sounds really, really dumb. Did we cross it over into Nevada yet? I actually have no idea if we did or not. Okay. I'm a little bit disappointed if uh, we don't see any welcome to Nevada. Because we are 35 minutes out of... Uh, Oh, from our destination point. Oh, is that it up there? Are we going to have to, like, make a turn? Oh, that doesn't look like it at all. What happens if we go on the rumble strips? Ah! Oh, I was really hoping that the rumble strips would go... Come on, game. My, my immersion is being broken right now, guys. I can't help it. I'm sorry. Look at this. I guess we are in Nevada. Nevada? Nevada? I always said Nevada. I don't know what it is. Nevada. Nevada. Yo, there's a freaking Ferris wheel over there? What? Dude, I totally want to go on it. Prim discovered. Aw, oh, yeah. Oh my god, look at this. It was a relatively easy drive, too. I'm actually really surprised. Oh, dude, I can't wait till we go to, like, Las Vegas and go buy hookers and, and gamble all our, our life savings away. Or we put every single set we have that we've we've earned through our, our job and uh, put it on black. Double what we have. So if we have like 2,000 we put it on black, we, we're going to win. We're going to be guaranteed to win. Okay. Let's, uh, let's just play it safe. I've, I've been enjoying the playing it safe so far. Let's all the way over there. You know, this has to be a Walmart. It has to be. 
We're delivering clothes to Walmart. That's freaking funny. I love it. Okay. Okay, we can do it. Let's go up. Let's go up. Cargo is ready for unloading. Wait, I keep pressing the wrong button. Yes! There we go. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh my god, we actually got quite a bit of experience there. We're almost like, we're level one newbie! Level one newbie. Okay, so, oh my god, what are we gonna wanna do here? We have skills, we have a couple things. We have hazardous cargo, long distance, high value cargo, fragile cargo, just in time delivery, fuel economy. Uh, you know what I kinda wanna do? I kinda like, didn't, No! 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 Did I? Okay. We could do explosives, flammable, poisonous, and... You know, let's do explosive. Dude, I'm so down with explosives. Let's do that! Typically, I, I, I like to do the long distance one, but now we have hazardous cargo. Looks like we're gonna be able to deliver some hazardous cargo, and I'm really, really excited that for that. Anyways, guys, look at this. We finally have, like, a couple, couple thousand bucks. We have 3,500 in our account, which makes me the idiots look fucking rich. But I'm done for today, guys. Thank you guys for joining me along for the ride. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like. It, it really does help out the, the channel a lot, and I, I love doing this for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk with you guys in the next one. Peace.